What are you doing, Mr. Crab? Oh, miss? Are you miss or miss that? Arms out. And we're going to let the whole thing just blend together. Second side is always more challenging. If you want to, you can try and lift this bottom arm. And two, and slowly down. Oh my gosh, so tell them. So that was Beach Body Workout Day Two. two. Which things to say? I don't know, everything. Well, I was just saying to Laura, it's really cool to like have this kind of a workout because I've always like been like secretly competitive of like push-ups, like sit-ups, like that sort of thing, and I sort of abandoned it as mm -hmm. when I got into this. But it's kind of cool to re-experience it, but from a new perspective. And mm -hmm. I was even just sharing like we did like this tricep stretch, which I feel like is a classic. Like do this, do this. Mm -hmm. But like then Laura's like, all right, now move your hands and like give it a squeeze. Like it was mm -hmm. kind of just like the same, but not the same at all. Totally. And just like kind of the reminder of like the marriage between like, yeah, get fit. And these are like, I could feel like this will strengthen me for ballet or yeah, whatever, or totally. life. And, and that like hardcore vibe, which I really like, and having it not be like so intense. Totally. Like the constant reminders. And even just it was cool because it's like when I watch this back in the future, like I might not be in Grand Cayman Island, but like I can still like, imagine to when it. Laura's like breathe in the air. It's like if you close your eyes, you could do that anywhere. Totally. It was just cool. I know, it's so cool. And I, I felt like, like teacher I pulled, Laura. I felt like I pulled everyone like through. Just from my background, it's just funny and cool to like land here and yeah. be doing this because I started teaching dancing when I was like 13 like all kinds of dancing then I've taught Pilates I've taught gymnastics I've taught like body conditioning I've kind of done all these things and then found Franklin method then had to throw a lot of it out forget it all but now re-experience it and so it's a lot of the moves that are like similar or you know, I've experienced in different things, but they're in a totally new way, and I feel like I'm doing them in a new way. I can teach them in a new way and like hold the vision in a new way, and just the way it like then all dances together. It's just really cool. I really am. Um, it's really nice. Yay! How's it going, bootcamp, Rachel? Boom. It's just cool to feel the like activation in the boot camp, but also the like softness in it too. And the like little breaks for squeezing or like stretching or breathing or just inspired movement. Mm -hmm. So it feels really nice too. I feel hard and soft at the same time right now. Okay, let's do some ballet. Okay. Okay. Can you imagine you're a bird?
Jess and Rachel are making lunch, which I'm very excited for, really hungry, and I was just reading some of the comments on the video from yesterday. So glad that you guys are loving the drone footage. I am loving it. Annie, who asked how to take action and bust through any resistance, it's a little overwhelming and loving the flight footage. So your answer, I feel, was in your comment, in your question. As you get moving and just allow your body to move, to soar, to fly, that is where the inspiration comes in and it takes you out of your current perspective. It's like inspiration for me is seeing something new. It's like I'm seeing it for the first time. And so allowing yourself to zoom out of your current perspective that maybe feels safe and actually go further, go higher, go lower, go deeper, go to a deeper detail or an expanded view, zoom around. And it's just like in UHP, in Universal Health Principles, which Annie, I know you are practicing. It's how can we zoom to a different perspective? And that is the point where there's like this doorway to allow the creation to come through. Rather than feeling like I'm hitting against the same block, the same like resistance, it's like there's always a different way. Kind of just reminded me of Alice in Wonderland where she will drink something or eat something and she'll get bigger or smaller. And there's always a way through, even though it might feel like there isn't. So Annie, let me know if that helps you. <laughs> Perhaps I love your comment about my dad and the rocks. So it's very true. My dad used to, and probably still does, lift rocks as his like workout. That was, <laughs> he has this like big rock. Um, so it's really funny. It must be in my DNA to be into lift, lifting rocks. Alyssa sending you love. Thank you for all your sweet comments to everybody. Jocelyn, so good. You were like powered up in our Beachbody workout this morning. I'm giving you an extra shout out and a big hug. Like, yay you. Michelle, she says, oh yay, was feeling that so much that day and I totally felt the love. Go team laugh. Yeah, here we go, doing it together. Working out, moving, and allowing what wants to come through to come through. Because when you get your body moving, everything moves. You're literally waking up your brain. Your brain cells are literally coming back online because your body and your brain are connected. You can't separate it. When you move, you are activating your brain, you're improving your brain, particularly when you move with imagery, when the images in your mind are supporting your body and what you want. That is the best brain training. And when you're training your brain in that way, you're opening up for new images to come in and literally excite you from the inside, then rather than getting, oh my goodness, now what do I do with all this inspiration and all of these visions? one step at a time this is the action this is the next action this is the next action and it's like right now I have all these ideas for UHP we were swimming in the ocean and talking about how we are bringing UHP forth for you all and telling you about it and introducing you to it and I have so many ideas and so many visions and ideas for drone shots and rather than thinking okay how is that going to happen moment by moment what am I doing right now my action is to finish the vlog from yesterday. Then my action is to, well, I might divert into lunch and then maybe finish the vlog. Then to allow this next level of inspiration to map itself out and it changes every single day. So I'm gonna get going, finishing this vlog. I love your guys' comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please keep them going. Please share these vlogs, it means so much you interacting, you being the movement of these vlogs in the receiving end is everything. So that fuels me to get this edit done. So, boom, go team laugh, go us. I'll see you for lunch. What you got? <gasps> tuna, no, sardines, she's got tuna. Yellowtail. <laughs> One of the things that I want to do was 
put a link to like one year ago today. So I just looked it up and it was uh, it was when we were in Hawaii and it was, was when that guy climbed and got us the coconuts on the beach, mm -hmm. which was basically what happened yesterday. Which is the vlog that just went up. Which is the vlog that literally just went up, which is so funny. Taste really the good life. Wherever you see darkness, there is extraordinary opportunity for the light to burn bright. Rachel was just reading Kate Reed. UHP, so cool. Hey guys, so I was just looking at Kate Reed's Facebook and saw she wrote a work with me post because she's a pre-certified practitioner and I'm reading out loud this awesome, awesome page about what UHP is in Kate's perspective and it's amazing and I'll just read one bit about how UHP is community. Kate says, the feeling of loneliness and matching desire for community is not unique for us sensitives. For me, the most beautiful result of universal health principles and the reconnection to my own intelligence has been the knowing that I'm far from alone. We are joined to everything through a feeling in our bodies and then we really and when we really start to feel this in a consistent way, we realize we don't need anything or anyone. It is not in a self-righteous or elitist way, in a way that strips away the dogma of connection and community as we currently understand it, of I need you, you need me, we need each other. And then our community shows up, the community we have been craving because we no longer need it. Oh, and it is so pure and true. So really amazing, gave Laura and everyone crazy chills. And go Kate, you're rocking it. Transition to no knees. All right, Fiona. Fiona wrote like no knee, no knee, no knee, no knee, no knee, like a million times in the comments. So we're gonna do it. Ready? Yes. Yes, maybe not right now. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. What do you think? Should we go for a swim? For a swim! Go for a swim! Go for a swim! Come on! Bring me a higher love. Higher love. Dreaming of. I like the way you fly the sky. That's round, drone, drone, drone. <laughs> Baby, make your booty go. We went up in the sky. We went down oh, into the sea and then up into the I sky. Like so, planet Earth, nice one. <laughs> Love ya. <laughs> We're going to end the vlog now because <laughs> I want to edit it and get it up. I'm really, I really, don't, it's committed. a small chance it might get up by tonight. Wow. We were just watching the drone footage. It's so uh, amazing. So amazing. Like, so amazing. The shift in perspectives, the eyeballs. Like, wasn't that right, guys? Like, about the drone and how it's going to change everything. Yes. Everything has changed. It's amazing. Anyway, I'm going to not talk too much so that there's lots of space for lots of amazing drone footage. And we'll see you tomorrow. And see you in the comments. Really hope this is up at 8am again. I'd like to get back on schedule. Mwah! Love you! Good night! Bye! Away, you fly the sky. That's round, drone, drone, drone. <laughs> Baby, make your booty go.